All right, welcome to a very special edition of KTOD Radio. It's me, your boy, Bobby Sapphire. I'm here with my boys, Justin H2O Desai. I'm really excited to get spoiled. Uh, my brother, KTOD Maddie. What's up, Maddie? Ask Mike, as the baby of the family, I am spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, know how to follow that no one. No comment. I'm going to be honest. And then Steve, <laughs> <you're welcome>. Steve, <laughs> Stevie gets... <laughs> I was, not ready. I, not. I was not ready for the truth <laughs> bomb to hit so hard. All right, we've got some shadows. Finally said it. We've got some shadows. I've known all along. Spoilers. Baby. What's this set called? Shadows of something. Shadows of Star Wars Unlimited. Spoilers. We're going to hit you with two unit cards from your favorite Star Wars cartoon, Resistance. <laughs> what? Let's go. All right. Have well, you, well, wait, well, have any of you? Sinara San. Wait, none of you guys have watched Resistance, right? Just me. No, I just pretended like I knew okay. this. I have. Right. You did? I have okay, not. cool. I've seen it. All right. So she's, I actually like that this character was pretty awesome and dynamic and like you kind of those characters you love to hate. But uh, Sonara San is loyal to Craig and she's a four drop villain vigilance uh, unit, three power, six booty. She's mm. got grit, means for every damage Gritty. she has, she's got plus one uh, attack. And then while this unit is exhausted, she gains bounty, deal five damage to a base. So um, I guess the idea here is that. She uh, can do a lot of damage, but she also might damage her own base because she, spoilers for the cartoon, she turns out to be a bad guy after thinking she's a good guy. Ooh, spoilies. Um, I I like her in a GI deck. I know like some people said they don't like Grit and GI, which to me seems kind of crazy. Like you untap her, now she's hitting for five. Like that seems pretty good. She's got a big enough booty that you can kind of protect her. And like, one thing in this in blue GI that you that can mitigate this is because of stuff like um, the the Wookie, the evil Wookie that comes like when you have bounties. Yeah, I'm trying Chrysanthem. to say this. You want a lot of bounties in these blue red decks because you want the either the untap or the um, the untap from the Dengar ship. Mm. So you play like something like the client or the um, mm. rich reward or the not rich reward, sorry, the top target that also gains you life. So you can mitigate her bounty because you can actually heal back a lot of that. So I right. think the best way to play that GI deck is like you're attacking their base, and then you're healing back to win the race. So I think she's actually could could be the last couple slots in a blue GI deck. Yeah, I think grit in general, like with the giant booties, is important. And you know, Grand Inquisitor definitely is what this card speaks to me as as getting in there on four. The five damage to the base is a steep cost, but if you're just killing them fast, like maybe you just don't care in a lot of the matchups. Like you're just in a straight race and you know you're gonna be so aggressive with some of the other cards, like punishing one and yeah. Kylo's tie even, like just yeah. getting in there and just pushing and pushing and pushing that yeah, you're so you're so almost much like healing in blue now. Right. I was gonna say and you, so and much you get healing to heal in blue. Too. You could you can also do things like heal her, shield her in blue. So she's mm-hmm. in the right, right spot for it. I think grit with with GI is really, really good. Yep. And um, there might even be there. I feel like there are some things where like you actually want your your units to have bounty. I feel like there's some interaction there. I should have like jogged my memory. Oh, you could but... boss her, so then she gets the grit and she gets pumped from his ability. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I just think that too. there's a lot of play here, and um, in the right deck, like if you were gonna do a GI deck that didn't take advantage of bounties, like this seems like a perfect four drop. You know what I mean? If you were, because you're not gonna play Django if you're not doing bounties, right? And like she would take that spot yeah. as the three six four right. drop that uh, right. that's like hitting you for five. So I think I mean, she's I, I think, pretty good. I think she's she's interesting. She's something certainly you want to explore. She doesn't scream like busted power level or anything like that um but she's not something you should dismiss because you're going to see more of these cards of grit with grand inquisitor you just want to try them out in your decks yeah she's also limited too she's also Probably underworld so you could mcclunky her and get her back to your hand and not and not let her mm. die yep that's interesting all right so that's our first one and then as she is loyal to kragan here's kragan kragan gore uh warbird captain he's a six cost villainous rare unit uh since our sam is an uncommon uh this is a six six for six and when an enemy unit attacks your base give a shield token to a friendly unit in the same arena as an attacker um this is pretty interesting as like counterplay to an aggro deck it just costs a lot but it's it's like once he's on the table you have to attack him yeah you if you're if if his units start getting shield he's gonna take over i think he's like a draft bomb i don't see he's just like too slow 
I think to play in in Premier, but I think like it I think it this is like if you open him in draft or sealed, like he's he's your bomb. Like I think his ability is really strong in those that format. Yeah, I think he'll be a pretty common pick one, pack one, just because he doesn't have any colors attributed to him. Yeah. Reminds me a bit of like the ATST, sure. obviously. I think that's the the most similar comparison of like, yeah, this card is like could be constructed playable, but there's just the way that like decks are built now. It's you know it just doesn't work with the synergies of the deck, um, but like c- certainly a very powerful card. I agree. Draft draft bomb. Also, what do you think it would ta- oh you go Mike. I just wanted to say and twin suns bomb. Like this is probably yeah. like mm-hmm. a staple villain card in. Twin oh yeah. Sons, oh yeah. Sure. I know. That's a good point. It's like it's a great. I think, gotta, at, I think at Gen Con I'm gonna try to play some of that format just to kind of see. Ooh. I think two sets. It's gonna be really fun. So. I'm excited to yeah, try Yeah, this it makes out. it like they really can't target you. Like they really can't right. come after you and your health total if you play this guy in Twin Suns. Yeah, that's actually a really great point. Um, yeah, it's interesting I, that like the actions come on with them doing stuff. So like your your stuff gets um, shields, but it's based on their actions. Like oftentimes the shields yeah, are like, your cool. actions. Mm-hmm. So like you're able to get a shield that you didn't think you were going to have. Mm. Like do they attack your units then? Like it's, it's a bit interesting. Interesting card. Yeah, abilities like this, like you said, that like trigger off them doing something, I think or will be at a premium. I just think the cost and the stat line isn't enough to push this card over the edge. But I was gonna ask, like, what do you think you would need to see like from like an underworld type of like if we saw like something like Imperial or Rebel with Underworld, would then he be a little better if like an underworld synergy can get you to six quicker and like does stuff, or do you think like there, there I could no see him as a sideboard card. I just like don't know if like attacking like people attacking past your units to your base. Like, do you have a big enough board for this to be relevant? You know, there's just it's too situational for me to think that it's yeah. like ever going to be even in an underworld deck. And then, how do you use yeah. the shields? Are you just are you just then attacking their guys? Or like, I would imagine it, so. Like yeah, that's what shields yeah. are for, right? Like if they're not attacking you, you better be attacking them. So yeah. it's he could really, um, you know, if unchecked, like. You know, you play this guy, they attack your base, your guy who's untapped already gets a shield, and then you're able to, like, start killing things with the stuff that's shielded. So, like, no one's going to attack your base and just give your give you free kills. Mm-hmm. Um, so he he's not going to end up doing what he is intended to do. It's just going to make people either kill him or kill your units. But yeah. maybe that's what you want. Yeah, maybe you ramp him out quick. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to say C and limited, buddy. <laughs> Discard him there with Kylo, go. reanimate him. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right, cool. Well, those are our spoilers. Um, if you watch this long, thanks. If not, I hope you enjoyed the images that were posted on Discord. Booyah. Check it out. Later. Peace.